joining us from the creative team, executive producer Vaughn Wilmot. And executive producer Michael Horwitz. He's one of Michael's new cellmates as Whip Augustus Prue. He's also among the newbies as Jacob Ness, Mark Feuerstein. She'll be helping Lincoln navigate Yemen as Sheba in Bar Lobby. He used to be one of the bad guys, now his allegiances are a little unclear as Paul Kellerman, Paul Edelstein. Rockman Dunbar. <laughs> He's still as delightfully creepy as he was in the original. <laughs> so Robert Necker. <laughs> it's up to Lincoln Burroughs to save Michael this time around. Dominic Purcell. <laughs> for coming back to life, you knew him as Michael Schofield, Wentworth Miller. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go back to the beginning here of the revival. This was born a little bit out of you two reuniting on The Flash. Talk about what those first conversations were like when you were like... These nine episodes of, of Prison Break, and I just decided to trust that Michael Schofield was still in me somewhere, and he was. Uh, same thing for you, Robert. What is it like slipping back into the key bag? <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, interesting role you've played for a long time. Sexiest character on TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think. Uh, I think. All of us felt like we wanted to create versus recreate. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that stopped us from trying to go back and do, do what we did before. And, and like Wentworth says, it, it felt like, uh, you know, it was just time to do it and to stay in the present. And it's a real trip, by the way, to be here uh, because we were here, what, eight years ago, nine years ago? And we are. There's a lot of newbies here, which is terrific. But the, the oysters <laughs> are like, it's a, it's a crazy feeling to be up here, right? Because it's so different than it was uh, before. I remember years ago, I, I wasn't probably the only one. I was like, remember what I did with the tongue? You know what I did with the language? <laughs> I don't have to talk about what I did. It just, it's there now. And it's just like uh, putting on that old glove again. Or old hand. <laughs> <laughs> Rockman, what was your reaction when you heard that there would be a revival, especially since this version of Sino is very different from what we knew before? Well, when are they shooting? <laughs> <laughs> Paul Schering is, is, is involved, Wentworth is involved, uh, uh, Dominic is involved. I'm fucking there. <laughs> <laughs> They want the black guy to come back? <laughs> I bring the black guy back. <laughs> black guy back. <laughs> um, Paul, uh, your role. There was a, another audience, uh, the Netflix generation, and that it was still very viable. Um, and uh, before we knew it, we said, yeah, let's do this. And um, we approached Fox and uh, um, Dawn. Um, Lucy, um, love the idea, and uh, before we know it, uh, they were interested. And what was what what we needed was the uh, the uh, Paul Sher uh, Paul the dude at the end there, <laughs> uh, Paul Sherring, and uh, we needed the, the genius to uh, come up with uh, one of his riddles, and uh, he did so beautifully. I thought. I saw a couple of cockroaches, but it's totally fine. So. But yeah, it's totally beautiful. I was glad that you filmed there. Um, so, sorry, I'm nervous. 
Season, Sona Prison, Wade Williams, Tidy Whiteys. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moment. <laughs> and he's missed. I actually lobbied um, to bring Wade and a couple characters back, maybe in a dream sequence. <laughs> I'm still holding out hope that that's possible, maybe down the road. Did Wade get killed? I believe so. <laughs> Bellic, yes, Bellic. Yeah. Yeah. Bellic died. Yes. <laughs> Rest in peace. He's awesome. Rest in peace. He is a wonderful actor. He is a wonderful actor. <laughs> 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 Terrible prison guard, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hateful prison guard. Hateful prison guard. When you talk about one of the most memorable moments, this was sort of before the show when I went into the room and auditioned and was. Not told that I had. <laughs> but I actually got in the car after the audition feeling like, oh yeah, that's mine. <laughs> the script was amazing. I killed it. I knew I killed it. I got in my car, called my agent, and was like, I killed it. And he was like, no, you didn't. You didn't get it. <laughs> actually, they gave it to someone else. And with, in my head, I was so upset. But I knew it wasn't true. And I said to myself, with tenacity, they're going to hire that guy. He's going to fuck up and call me back to do the role. Watch. And that's exactly what I said. <laughs> Cut to three days later. They called me back and said, Rock, could you come and do this role? Now, it's amazing to me how tenacious the human spirit can be, even when you know something is yours. And, and, I, and I love that, and I love that you said your age. Keep it, go with it, stay hungry, I believe in you. And, and, and there's, there's not that many people around that can give you the energy that you need to make healthy choices and be healthy within your mind to continue. So I'm saying, continue, continue, continue. I will. We need more people like you. Thank you. And so that was one of the most memorable moments for me. Can, can, I, can, I, can I get a little addendum to that with you? <laughs> <laughs> I have worked with the other actor that had gotten the job, like much the way with all of you. But, uh, you know, you work with somebody that does a really great job, you want to hire them again. Uh, and so we actually hired the role uh, uh, wholesale. If you watch the pilot again, you watch it, and there's a uh, you know, a middleman, a guy who works the angles in the pilot, right? And um, he knows the way to working in the prison, right? And so there's this whole sequence where he's supposed to tell Michael, who's a newbie to the prison, okay, these are the bad guys, these are these guys, these are these guys, these are these guys, and it's this three-page chunk of dialogue, which is a lot, right? Um, and on the day, he started going, da, da, da. And I'm like, but this is critical exposition. I mean, this tells you what the whole prison is. Uh, and he couldn't do it. I mean, he just he couldn't do it. And so I called a Maui who, you know, played Sucre. And I'd already realized at that point that Sucre, you know, Sucre is a guy you want to give a little bit of dialogue to. You know, because you know, the English is, you know, fun to so I kind of <laughs> and, I, and I called him and I said, hey, can I give you a full sales three-page dialogue scene? And he's like, oh, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> but if you watch now, if you go back and watch the pilot, and you watch Sucre just summarily knocking on point after point after point after point after point, setting up Michael, why are you old bro so bad anyhow? <laughs> he's my brother. Right. And that, all that dialogue was for somebody else. Right. And then the next day, we called Brock and we said, you want a job? <laughs> hey, dude, who killed it in the audition? <laughs> he made a mistake. <laughs> but there's one thing about Morocco, 
And I have to say this, and I have, I was complaining, my wife, she's in the audience, and she was, we just had our second child, and they were saying, yeah, you're gonna go to Morocco. And I'm like, why are we going to Morocco? Can't we just go shoot this in Vegas? <laughs> right? And I was kind of complaining the whole way. We land in Paris. The, the flight took off from Paris and was going to Africa and crashed. And we're like, wait a minute, a flight just we took off from Paris. That was the we weren't on that flight. <laughs> <laughs> and it was super scary, the whole situation. But when we got there, it was like God said, you're welcome. <laughs> I had to walk over to Paul and I was like, man, you know what? I, I'm so sorry. I was complaining the whole entire time about Morocco. And <laughs> the best background actors I've ever worked with in my entire life. Some of the best food I have ever put into my mouth. Some of the people that worked on this show, this is a worldly show, I don't know if you know. But the actors that came in from different parts of the world are lifelong friends now. This is a show that is not only written well, but we have met and, 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 and commune with some really, really great people that we'll have uh, as friends for a lifetime. So this is an amazing show, and, it's, and, and, I, and I just hope everyone enjoys it and understands that you know, we, we as a world made the show. This is not a Hollywood production. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyway, Morocco is <laughs>